There are several different types of intelligence. One of the foundations that this channel is based upon is emotional intelligence. If you're unfamiliar with emotional intelligence, it is the capacity to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions, and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. Again, one more time. The capacity to be aware of, to be able to identify your own emotions, what they truly are, cognizant of what you're feeling, not superficially, and why you're feeling it. To express one's emotions, not to pen them up, not to act out, not to be reactive, um, not to reach for negative sources of expressing one's emotions, such as um, self-harm, harming others, reaching for substances, drugs, or alcohol. Um, there's a litany of ways that you could negatively express your emotions, or you could just stuff them down until you blow up in some way or implode in some way. So it's the recognition of your emotion, the true recognition of your emotion and its source. The capacity to express it healthfully, process it, and express it healthfully. And to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. Interpersonal relationships are mentioned in emotional intelligence because getting along with people is highly tied to our emotionality. How we interact, react, who we're drawn to, how we perceive and communicate everything about relating to others, which is why I have a specific playlist refocusing relationships, has to do with how we are emotionally. And the stability of our relationships heavily relies on our emotional intelligence. Because you can't even communicate your needs or recognize the needs of others if you're unable to comprehend, express, and control your own emotions. And if you don't express them properly, you don't interact with other people in an appropriate manner. Disruptive, chaotic, uh, it, it interferes everything that's required for a healthful relationship begins with emotional intelligence. Even the people that you pick to associate with begins with emotional intelligence. And judiciously, it's fairly. Because you're able to perceive correctly what's happening in yourself and other people, to express your feelings in a healthy and appropriate way, and communicate with others, you're able to deal with other relationships with humans, whatever the situation, in a fair way. You also have the capacity for empathy. Empathy is the ability to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Not just to see their side of the situation, but to literally be able to feel their side of the situation what your impact of what you're doing, how you're standing, how you're speaking, how your emotions are coming across, how you're reacting, how your cognitive perception of a particular situation may differ from their cognitive perception of the particular situation. They may not have even seen the particular situation. To be able to literally take yourself out of yourself 
and to put yourself emotionally in another person's position as a whole entity and so you conduct yourself differently with other people because you can see as much as anyone can see what it might be like emotionally to be in their shoes to feel what they're feeling given all that you know so that's emotional intelligence the capacity to be aware of control and express one's emotions and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically if you've never heard of emotional iq you should look it up and look for ways to improve it um, this is a, an arena of my life that i was a little bit of a late bloomer on given trauma history given a mental health history uh, it wasn't like I was running around creating havoc in the world, um, but I had a lot of room to grow, to realize peace, calm, happiness, and joy in myself and in my life, um, fulfillment in myself, the ability to feel joy and feel in control of my own emotions rather than at the mercy of them. I've never really treated people with out empathy uh, or unjudiciously to the best of my ability. But as your emotional intelligence improves, your abilities to treat others appropriately improves because your perception of what's really happening improves because you're not basing your perception of what's really happening on how you're feeling about the particular situation to be true and so you react as if what you're feeling is true toward the other person when your feelings are not truth they are perception and you're able to see through the perception as your intelligence grows the more your understanding of your own emotions and that they are your own and they are perceptual and they are not fact and other things I discuss on this channel, uh, the more mastery you gain over your emotional intelligence, the more mastery you gain over the totality of your life, the more likely you are to be happy more often, to even comprehend what happiness is. Happiness is not jumping joy over the moon, excited all the time. Happiness is a centered state of mind, more than an emotion. Happiness is the ability to have directed action in your own life. Happiness is the ability to live with your emotions, not through them. Happiness is the ability to have happy relationships with other people, to feel confident in your capacity to move through your own life with your own competencies and interact with others with your own competencies and have healthy, happy relationships. And emotional intelligence is often neglected. Other areas of intelligence are focused on, but for a happy life, happy circumstances, happy self, happiness, which is what the channel's about. Ooh, I got a bug on my hair. That's what happens when you film outside. I suggest you look into emotional intelligence and explore where you might be with yours. Explore the many facets of it and how improving it can improve your life. We don't know what we don't know. So look it up. Expand your mind, your intellectual intelligence, while you learn about emotional intelligence. So you can expand that too. It's a twofer. Good morning. Goodbye, YouTube.